Yo, what's going on everybody? It is Chibsa here. Welcome back to League of Legends today. Playing Singe in the mid lane versus a Lux today. Oh, this is going to be an annoying matchup, but this game is going to be phenomenal. You've seen the snippets in this game, uh, both from the uh, suggestions for changing Singe video that I posted early in the week, as well as the Patreon announcement video that I posted uh, about two days ago. Uh, if you haven't seen that video yet, um, I have started up a Patreon. Um, if you're interested, you can go ahead and donate if you feel like it. Don't worry, no obligation to it at all. I'm not hiding content behind anything. It's just if you want to support the channel, buying your stuff and all that. I won't be shilling it at the beginning of every video, but just in case any of you missed it, uh, I'll leave a link to that video down in the description if you want to check that out. But anyways, this game here. Playing Singe in the mid lane, that's just the sort of thing that I'm enjoying on him at the moment. And playing against a Lux, which isn't really good. Because Lux has a lot of poke. And Singe has no way of reaching her. And even if he does reach her, the mid lane is a very, very short lane. So he cannot chase her down all that well. I was hoping to take advantage. I, I was hoping that Lux would stick around in the jungle and fight around there. My team just gave up first blood, unfortunately. But she's in lane. I was hoping to get an uncontested fast push, but I didn't get it. So I take damage. And she has Thunder Lord, so I'm taking even more damage. Which really sucks. You're going to see me make quite a few mistakes early on here in the lane. I'm going to have a few unnecessary deaths that I just shouldn't have. And this whole game is not going to go well for our team. Until about 20 minutes in. Um, <laughs> you will see. This mid game to start off is going to be absolutely atrocious for the team. The early game is going to be very, very even. But when the mid game comes around, we throw it away. And then as the late game starts coming up, the enemy team just completely dubs. But... That's uh, that's in the future here. We're in the laning phase now. And here I'm just doing the standard Singe mid thing of getting poked down by the enemy mid laner. This is just what's going to happen. In this game, I have taken Armor Quints, Armor, um, Armor Marks, I believe. Yes, Armor Marks, Health per level Seals, and Magic Resist per level Glyphs. So I've got a very, very, very defensive rune page. Uh, which is generally what you want to run as Singe mid. Runes should be for helping you out in the early game. Uh, with the exception of boost speed quints, which help you out all over the game. Um, but yeah, but mostly those runes are really necessary for playing against uh, playing in a mid lane matchup where you're going to be poked down a lot. Uh, obviously, you can still run move speed quints if you want, but I just find the extra armor is uh, very, very good. Uh, that was a miss cannon there, by the way. I'm going to be keeping track of them <laughs> internally. One miss cannon. I need to start shaming myself um, a little bit so I stop missing those cannons. Here, I go back uh, 350 gold by my Corrupting Potion. I decided to go Corrupting Potion instead of a Dark Seal because I'm not going to be able to fight or get any damage onto Lux. So I might as well go for that Corrupting Potion for the early sustain and then go to the Dark Seal to boost that sustain and have some extra wave clear. So here, once again, still just fast pushing the lane, taking a lot of harass. Lux has a Doran's Ring, so she isn't going to be running out of mana anytime soon, which is unfortunate. And she's going to get... A generous helping of blue buffs from the Lee Sin, which, I mean, obviously you would do if you're Lee Sin. You don't really need those blue buffs. So, yeah, she is going to um, have a fairly easy time in the lane. That's fine, because I'm going to have a fairly easy time in the late game, and you will see that. But, yes, just fast pushing in the wave. I'm going to obviously be going for that as a rock portal first. I want to get uh, Merc Treads this game, because they have Leona, they have Lux. I want to have that tenacity, and the MI helps as well. But I want to get a Negatron Cloak as soon as possible after I finish off my Dark Seals. But going for a Merc, uh, going for early Merc Treads as well isn't a bad idea. But I think the early Magic Resist would be better. Yeah, I managed to land a uh, some go onto Lux. I do end up fleeing her there. But Lee Sin is going to come in. I'm going to dodge the Q there. Which is nice. Probably saves my life there. He did have Red Buff. So I was likely to have died if he hit me with that, um, that Q. And now I know that Sun caught it. That's two missed cannons there, by the way. Two out of two. Two out of two missed. So, and of, and of course, you know, the thing with Singed is, whenever you do anything wrong, just pop your Mastery Emote. Always do that. Always, if you miss a cannon, pop your Mastery Emote. It, it shows and I don't know, it, it just, it pisses people off when you do that. So make sure you do that all the time, especially if you've got Mastery 7. Now, I know Lee Sin's still nearby here. I, I should not be doing this. Based on the map, I should be thinking Lee Sin is going to go for, um... Raptor's there, and he's going to come for me. He, he was probably doing just that, but Lux actually killed me before that even happened. So that was really, really bad on my part. What I should have done was just gone back. I got greedy for that extra wave. I don't know why. Um, maybe I was hoping to get um, Negatron Cloak off it, but I should have just gone back. Uh, but yeah, I stayed, and I died. Oops. Oh, well, we can come back from that. I do have MR per level, so that is good. That will give me a little bit of an advantage in this lane against a lot more non advantage. but it'll, um, it'll, it'll help me. It'll help uh, mes massage the pain away with that extra MR. So 
So yeah, running as a mid lane back now. Uh, keeping an eye on the situation in bot lane, obviously. I'd... The good thing about playing Sinjin mid is you can help out your bot lane more so that they don't lose games for you as much. Um, that's a real big problem with Sinjin nowadays because you don't build as much damage you can't really carry. Um, so you have to help out your bot lane a little bit more. And obviously if your bot lane does shit, then the enemy carry just completely out damages everyone. And annihilates your team and you, and you can't really do anything. Uh, uh, the thing with Singe mid is you have to be conscious of when you want to build damage. You want to go damage as Singe mid, okay? You want to get a damage item, second, third, or... You want to get a damage item, okay? You need a damage item as Singe mid. Now, if you've got something like a Singe out top, like in this game, you can delay it a little bit, because Singe out top will build some damage. Same thing if they got like a Garen top who's going for early AD, or things like a Darius or something. You can probably get away with not having damage as Singe mid there. But if you got like a Malkar top and you're Singe mid, you want to get damage early on because your team will just simply not have enough damage if you don't build any damage. If you just go full tank Singe in the mid lane, um, you're going to be pretty much useless unless your team has another high damage source like, yeah, a Darius, a Singe out top, or a Garen top or something like that. So, just keep pushing in the waves here. Try and drop the Mega Adhesives to try and go up and, you know, fling her and try to do some damage. You generally want to take Mega Adhesive in mid lane at level 4 pretty much all the time. Um, unless you're up against a melee matchup who you can just repeatedly kill. In which case you want to delay it to level 8 so that you can uh, keep putting points into Fling and Poison to do more damage with those. But most of the time, because mid lane is such a short lane, you want to you want to get that Mega Adhesive at level 4 and try to go for Harassus on it. Drop it behind the enemy mid laner and just run up to them. Generally you can make it in time, but unless, I mean if they got Lux, for example, she can just sneer you. So it's not really all that useful in that situation. Now here I've learnt my lesson. I'm going right back. That's another missed cannon right there. But that one wasn't me missing it. That was just me giving it up because I didn't want to be greedy there. In retrospect, I should have stuck around because she is actually going to get, go get blue there. I think she might be going bot, but yeah, it makes more sense that she's going to get blue. And Lee Sin is obviously going to give her pretty much every blue this game, which is going to not make my life much easier. But I got a Negatron Cloak now, so that should make things a tiny bit better. Team is not doing terribly. Um, well, bot lane died again, unfortunately. Um... But I think Warwick and uh, Caitlyn are going to get out there, I hope. Yes, it looks like they are. So, 1 and 3, that's not a disaster. It's bad, but it's not a disaster. We can come back from that for sure. Here, yeah, Lux overextends a little bit. I dodge the snare, and I decide to go for a here. Pop ult, and just go for it. Problem is here, if this was top lane, and she had done that in front of my tower, she'd be dead right now. But it's mid lane. So, she has more than enough time to run back to her tower. The lane is very, very short. That works in your favor in a lot of occasions. But it works to your detriment in occasions like that. So, she was able to get away there just due to the nature of mid lane, it being a shorter lane. But yeah, if that was top lane, you could just chase her all the way to the tower. Her snail was down, she would have died. But you're a little safer as Singe mid, but you also have less kill potential. That's what you give up. And also, Singe mid against Lux isn't a very, very good pick in my opinion. Because basically, the idea of Singe mid is that you constantly apply, uh, apply pressure to mid lane by pushing and using Zorot portal. And that basically, um, that basically means that uh, a mid laner can't roam. So he's very, very good against things like Ari, uh, Akali, Zed. Well, not Zed. Zed sort of shits on him in the lane. But in theory, against Zed as well. People who are like roaming a lot. Because you can effectively push so fast. They cannot clear away as fast as you. Singe is like the best way to clear champion in the game. Um, so you can just tank through all the harass. Push down the wave as, as quickly as possible. Um, recall, use your TP, come back, just uh, constantly just keep applying pressure and keep pushing the wave in. And that's even better when you, ha you have tower threat once you have Zorot Pole, it makes it even easier. And that means basically that they have to constantly either stay in lane or if they decide to roam, they will lose CS, they will lose towers, all uh, guaranteed every single time, unless you fuck up. But that's the idea of Singe Mid, just constant pressure being applied. Now here, I see Misfortune and Leona overextending and coming in to try and take out my bot lane, so I'm going to go in. In retrospect, they might not have needed my help, but I'm here anyways. I actually flee and get a kill. I'm happy with that. I got that kill there. And I'm just going to help them finish off the Leona here. And there she goes. Down she goes. So, yeah, that's the why you always want to try and take Teleporter Singe mid. The, uh, not just for, like I said, the, the pressure in mid lane that it gives you and allows you to do. Because, like, for example, uh, level 1, uh, you can take 2, 3. You can take the first 3 waves, including the Cannon Creep wave. You can recall, and you can teleport right back into lane and keep pushing again. That means that the enemy laner could potentially be in lane uh, with just a Doran Ring or something until they're, like, level 7 or something. Until they get an opportunity to go back. If they go back, they will lose CS. Got that Cannon Creep, but had to use a flame. Damn. 
So yeah, it's all about that pressure. It's all about just making the enemy um, mid laner stay in the lane, lest they miss CS or lose their tower. That's the idea of Singe Mid. And I like that playstyle. It's very, very nice. Um, you know, uh, be because the mid lane... It, it's not as good in top lane, because top lane doesn't roam as much as mid lane. Mid lane will roam all the fucking time. Especially if they're playing a roaming mid laner. You know, Ari, Akali, Zed, Talon. They will roam all the time. So if you play Singe mid into those, they just won't have the opportunity to roam. And if they do roam, which in many cases is the smart decision, uh, because, you know, they can get more out of it than just farming a mid lane, they will lose their tower, generally, if you have that zero-up portal completed. Unless the jungler covers for them, in which case the jungler is not assisting in the roam gank. So there you go. Um, you sort of try and make it um, a lose-lose for them. You know, you can roam, and if they get something by roaming, then cool. They, maybe they even out with the lost CS. But if they get nothing when they roam, they fail, their roam fails, and you just get a whole bunch of CS, and you deny them a whole bunch of CS, they just lost like 200 gold and got nothing out of it. So yeah, that's that's a, that's a general idea of Synthbid. So, here I am, I decide to proxy, quote-unquote, that's not really proxying. Um, I do that because I, I, I know I'm safe. Lee Sin is down bot lane, Lux is probably, you know, around there as well. So I just go for that. Just poison the wave and just run back out. No need to do anything risky. Just get some advanced damage to push that in. And I'm thinking, should I go down bot here? But it looks like, you know, the enemy team is already backing out and, you know, misfortune, Leon, I'm probably not going to do much to them. So I just settle for taking down this uh, ward here with the control ward that I placed earlier. Now, once again, another important thing about playing Singe mid, always go for these little raptors whenever you can. Uh, not just your own junglers, but the enemy junglers as well. These little raptors, there are five of them, and they'll give you 10 gold each. That is basically a cannon creep right there. So try and go for them as much as you can. Don't worry about denying them from your jungler. You need them more, because you're Singed, trust me. Uh, but here, I'm, I'm taking that a little bit too seriously. Here. I know Lee Sin's there, but I'm like, oh, I want to get these raptors. <laughs> I really want to get these raptors. Uh, don't do this. Uh, this is very, very risky, uh, with me knowing that Lee Sin is there. So, I mean, I'm going to get most of them. Lux is going to take uh, two of them, I think. No, she's gonna, uh, I only get two. Um, she takes two, and one of them gets away. But yeah, that was a bit risky with Lee Sin being nearby, so don't do that. Um, only do that if, you know, you see Limi Jungler uh, ganking, or, you know, you just you just have that general idea that they're not in that area, and you can quickly just ninja those little uh, little raptors. They'll give you a nice bit of gold. Here, I know Lux is going for blue buff. She just suddenly disappeared when she was there, so yep, she's got that blue buff. I just want to go on and push it real quick. She unfortunately snares me. I pop my ult here just for the resistances because I expect her to ult. No, she does ult me. But I expect her, I expected her, you know, um, E me, ult me, ult Q. What's her bloody AoE? I'm going to die anyways because Lee Sin comes in. I should have ran the other way. But I expect her to um, burst me a lot quicker there. So I pop my ult for the resistances. And it does make me survive her, um, her final spark. What I should have done was just not flung her. I decided to run in and fling her for some reason, and that gets me killed, so that's a mistake. Should have just ran out. As soon as she used that final spark, it'll be fine. So, things are still reasonably even. The enemy team has momentum, they do have the edge, but we're not, like, out of the game drastically yet. Um, it's gonna start getting a bit out of hand, though. That 5-7 is gonna become, a, like, a 5-13 or something. Uh, before we start turning things around. And it's mainly the Xin in the top lane. He is doing okay. He did get a kill in a gank uh, on Sion uh, by Warwick. So, and he's going to be quite a bit of damage. And he's going to be pretty powerful. But in the meantime, you know, <laughs> they're just going to throw their lives away in bot lane. Warwick's going to die. Uh, pretty, no, Caitlyn, I think, gets away. But, yeah, just silly things, throwing your lives away like that. Like, the same thing that I did with Lux. Just ran in and flung her for no reason. Just because I could. And... Ended up getting me killed. Same thing with the work right there. Here, I want some uh, Vision on the Dragon, so I got the little pollen flower thing. I don't have ult up here. I want to go in here. I want to contest this, because Caitlyn and Sona are coming up, but I don't have ult. So I want to just try and delay a little bit until I get ult. And I've taken a lot of damage there, but now I have ult. So I'm thinking, like, can, can we do something here? No, we can't really, but we forced them off of the dragon. So just show, showing some presence there. They probably had had uh, the tri brush water there, so they saw Caitlyn and Senna coming as well. And with me being nearby, they just thought maybe it's not worth it because at least Sim was quite low. And if he dies, then you know there's no smite, and it's a 50-50. So probably didn't want to risk it. Smart move, I guess. Here I'm taking a lot of damage, but now I've got that Negatron cloak and I've got Merc treads as well. I got 125 MR at level 11. So I am quite resilient at this point. 
Here I start uh, channeling recall to go back, but I realize that I have almost enough for a Zorot portal. Just one more wave, hopefully, should give me that Zorot portal. So I'm gonna stick around to just grab one more wave. I got plenty of health for it, plenty of mana. Lee Sin went back um, after that, uh, he ran away from that dragon. So he'll probably be around this area soon, but I reckon I can risk getting one wave off of it. I'm just ch chucking the goo down just to scare her away, make her think I'm going for her, trying to be aggressive, force her back, just so I can try and get these, um, these creeps. And of course, a uh, little uh, consolation prize. Uh, here I pop my ult again, right there. Um, because she hits me with the Snare, she hits me with the Singularity, and I, I expect the final spark, so I pop the ult for the extra resistances. Does come in, but I managed to just dodge it straight up, so... That's fine. Uh, I get out of there. Do waste my ult, unfortunately, but... Sinjo has a very low cooldown anyway, so it's fine. I'm actually going to teleport back here. Maybe a bad idea, but... I just want to get this rock portal um, minions pushing as soon as possible. I'm going to pop it right there. That area is a good area there. I'm pretty sure that area just barely reaches the tower on the last tick of health. Um, on the uh, no, no lux, your AoE abilities do not damage the rock portal. But yeah, I'm pretty sure from that distance the minion will just reach the tower before it dies. So it would just be able to do damage. There needs to be minions uh, tanking the tower for it. Uh, because if the tower hits the minion once, it will die. But... Um, yeah, at that range, it should be able to hit the tower. Now here, I go for the fling onto Lux. Warwick comes in. Yep, see the minions starting to do work on the tower there. I, I do die, actually. Uh, I, the reason I die there, I'm pretty sure it was my Corrupting Potion. Now, you need to... The corrupting Potion has killed me so many times during tower dives. It's just unreal. Basically, Corrupting Potion, for those of you who don't know, it has the effect where, uh, any damage you do, it adds, like, a little burn effect. Um... For a couple seconds afterwards. So basically, once your poison has ran out and you don't see the poison symbol above the enemy champion anymore, you think, right, they're not being damaged anymore, they don't have any poison. But the effect from the poison damage will still stay on the enemy champion for long enough that, um, well, for a couple of seconds afterwards. And that damage will make you take tower aggro. So you have to be incredibly careful with that. In all honesty, if I could just remove that extra damage from uh, Corrupting Potion, I would, and just have Corrupting Potion be normal. I actually think it's a downside when you're playing Singe because you will just take tower aggro so much when you don't think you're meant to be. So yeah, it, it is a downside in my opinion, but it's something you gotta watch for. And now the game has gone so poorly. We've just given up so many kills. It, it, I've made so many mistakes as well. I'm just like, I'm tilted, I'm done. Let's just end this game. I put in the uh, Surrender Vote there, Surrender at 15, but Team is going to want to stick around. And that ends up being for the better. Because, like I said, this game is quite the comeback. So, I go for some harass on the owner there. You know, try and fling her, do some damage. But I just don't have much damage myself. With my whole running, I've got 80 AP and those two dart seals. But the dart seals don't have any stacks. And I'm just not doing much damage at this point. I've got my Zorot portal going. But uh, if Lux just stays in the lane, generally she can clear out that Zorot portal. Min uh, the Zorot portal minions pretty well with all the AoE, so... It's not much use unless she roams around, and Lux ain't exactly known for her roaming potential, so... Once again, Singe mid, not a very good pick into Lux, but this is a blind pick, so, you know, can't help that. Drop the goo on her there, thinking maybe we'll do something, but, yeah, if Warwick was there, maybe get an ult jump on her, but no dice, unfortunately. Zinzao asks if I want top, I say no. I'm more than happy to stay in this mid lane uh, with my Zorot portal. I'm just hoping that I can get the mid lane tower down, try and swing things in our favor. But yeah, I, I don't really care. I know there's a TC going on at the dragon right there. I just want to push. I do not want to leave this lane. I understand there's a dragon fight going on. I understand that I could go there to assist. But the way I see it, if I'm here and Lux is here, it's a 4v4. And I'm sort of doing my part there. Because Lux, in my opinion, is more powerful than I am. So I'm happy to stay here. Xin Zhao is going to head down there, though, to assist the team. And, um, I think... No. Lux is gonna head down there right now. I'm like, okay, she's roaming. Let's get this tower pushed in. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start pushing this wave down very, very quickly. Don't have much AP, like I said. Uh, we just lost two members of our team right there. Really unfortunate. That does suck. But, I got a big Zorot minion right here. Boom. I'm gonna get this tower. So, in the end, we are going to lose two members of our team. Which sucks. Caitlyn actually manages to ninja the Mountain Drake right there. Which is really, really nice. And I end up getting that mid lane tower. So in the end, we lose two people, we get a dragon, and we get the tower. But in the end, even if we lost two people, and they got the dragon, getting the mid tower still sort of evens the gold out a little bit. And, um, keeps us in the game. Doesn't make that an entirely bad trade. And that was my whole thought process there. Staying there instead of helping the team. I'm pretty sure my ult might have been down as well, but even if it wasn't, um, 
I decide to stay there and push down the tower because I have those rock minions heading out there and that's a rock portal still up. So I know that I can get some guaranteed gold. And here is where the enemy team just throws it all away. They go for a deep tower dive to, uh, you know, they go past the um, inner tower and Xin Zhao is just ridiculous. I do not know why he is this ridiculous. Um, I didn't think I would look at his items at the end of the game. But he is just ridiculous. And we just completely take him out. 3 for 0 right here. And I managed to get 2 of those kills as well. So I'm right back in the game now. Dark Seals are stacking up. I've got a whole bunch of extra gold. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm going for that Righteous Glory. Not going for any damage yet. I decide, okay, now Xin Zhao has got enough damage. I'm going to go for Righteous Glory. Uh, ideally, you know, you might want to build a Catalyst and then go into like a Haunting Guys and then finish Righteous Glory and then go Andrews. I'm like, fuck it. We have the damage now with that Xin Zhao. So I will go for that Righteous Glory and just try and set up kills for him. But yeah, I will definitely be going damage right afterwards. And Leona throws her life away as well. So that ends up being a 4 for 0 in our favor. I think one of our, one of our team might have died, maybe. But in the end, we end up getting four kills, which if we were, if the score is like five and 17, that should not be happening uh, for the team that's losing. So that's a major comeback for us right there. And it's just going to keep getting better. And yes, I'm indeed going to go into that Leandri's third item. Leona is getting quite tanky. Sand is obviously getting quite tanky. And Lee Sin has a dead man's play. They have a lot of tanky champions on their team. So I want to go for that uh, Leandri's torment to melt them down. Because Singe doesn't like fighting tanky champions unless he has that Leandri's Torment. He loves fighting squishy champions. He loves fighting those immobile AD carries like Ash and Jin. Well, not. Well, Jin is sort of retardedly stupid right now. Uh, he got nerfed, didn't he? Well, when Jin first came out, Singe just loved Jin. He just ate him for breakfast. Same, same with Ash, same with Misfortune. Those carries that don't have any uh, escapes or movement abilities, he just shits on them. But yeah, against tanks like Sion, yeah, you can't you can't really do anything there. I'm gonna go for a gank on Sion here with Warwick, because with Warwick I can kill him, but he does a blow up to get away. So yeah, he, I mean he gets away, but he does blow up for it, so he's not gonna be able to affect any fights across uh, the map with that. I'm gonna teleport in here at bot lane. I think okay, I'm gonna go help my team. Not nah, team team's got their handle on that. I don't need to waste my TP. I'll cancel it, put it on a reduced cooldown, and I'll go defend mid lane. I'm gonna try and go for Luxia. I pop my righteous glory. I don't pop my ult because you know I expect her to snare me. In the end, she pops Ghost and ends up, that was a bullshit hitbox, but she snared me. So I didn't waste ult there. I wanted to make sure, like, if I'd gotten on top of her for a fling, then yeah, I would have popped ult and I would have just gone for her. But unfortunately, yeah, that didn't happen. But at least I saved my ult. And uh, I did blow her Ghost in the process. She's gonna head down bot lane, but I do not give a fuck. She is roaming right now. Watch how I punish these roams. So, Lux is down there, Lisa is down there, um, Sion is probably... I don't know, down there or go on top or whatever. I'm just going to go for this tower. Fuck it, I, I, I don't care. I'm going to go for this tower. Misfortune is here. I don't give a fuck about Misfortune. I'm tanky now. I'm just going to pop ult. I can't kill her here. I don't have enough damage. But I'm just going to turn her away from the tower. Watch how fast this rock portal just fucking destroys this tower. Now what Misfortune should have done right here was just shot at this rock portal. If she'd killed this rock portal here, that would have killed this whole, stra this whole strategy. But I'm just, I'm literally just running, running a distraction right here. This is... A, a, a diversion. I'm just trying to keep the mockery. Yeah, look, look at look at the juicy singe right here. Look at the juicy. Ignore this rock portal that just fucking destroyed your tower. Just go for the the juicy singed. And in the end, the distraction works. My ult was running the whole time. I had all those extra resistances, the extra damage too, but didn't really help all that much. Um, and in the end, I end up getting that tower right there. Well, it comes in, finishes it off, but the tower would have gone down anyways. So yeah, in the end, just very very solid right there. I punished that Lux Roam super hard. By the time the backup arrives, they just can't really do anything. And that's one thing uh, about this enemy team as well. Our team now has damage. We have Xin Zhao. I'm starting to go damage. And um, Caitlyn is going to do some damage as well. They have very little damage on their team. They got Sion top, who's gone full tank. They've got Lee Sin, who's uh, gone for his uh, warrior enchantment or whatever it is. And then he's gone tank, so not much damage from him. Leona, of course, not much damage. Misfortune is not exactly the fed type at the moment. So she's not doing much damage, and this is just a this is just a straight up massacre right here. They don't have the damage to be able to counterattack. While we have like Xin Zhao, all they have is misfortune. And Xin Zhao and me just immediately dive on her. And she cannot do anything. She just dies. Uh Lux is okay, they have Lux as well. But Lux was in that fight. And also, once again, Rise's Glory, Alt Ghost, I could just get on top of Lux and um keep up him down. Or catch up to her like that. Fling her into Xin Zhao and just goodbye. So there you go. That's an ace right there. Initially, I'm like, cool, we got an ace. I'm going to head down to bot lane and start pushing. But then, you know, herp derp a derp a derp a derp uh, Chimso, Baron, Baron, someone pings Baron. And I'm like, oh, yes, Baron, whoops, good good call, good call. Um, 
yeah, but be bear in mind, you know, when to get those barons. Um, you, you should, I, I, you know, you should be the one making those calls if you want to climb. But be sure to, you know, compliment your team if they uh, make some good calls. It's always very important. But yes, we go for the baron here after that ace, and we are going to end up getting it quite easily. So there we go. Now I got a baron buff. Now, Singe with a baron buff and a rock portal. I want a split push. I don't want a team fight. I can team fight because I got teleport. So I can go for a split push and then later on uh, teleport in for a team fight. But I ideally want a split push. Ah. There we go. Tell my team that I'm going to push bot. I tell them to pressure dragon, which should be very, very easy. Uh, that is an infernal drake. So it is well worth having even at this stage in the game. Fortunately, enemy team grabs it. So whatever. Let's revert to another plan. I'll go bot, you guys push to, uh, mid or top. So I'm going to head back down here now. Uh, we have Lux and Misfortune down here, which is both of their sources of damage just sitting over here. Uh, once again, I can run interference on one. I probably won't be able to kill Misfortune. I mean, I can kill her. I won't be able to kill her very fast, but I can distract the fuck out of her and make it so she cannot get into any fights. Sona, unfortunately, does get picked off by Elise in there, which does suck. But now there's a fight going on in mid lane, which means, of course, Misfortune and Lux are going to go to the mid lane, as any smart damage dealer would do. But then you've just left the Singe to split push, haven't you? <laughs> and it's got a fucking Zerot portal. So, here I come, Baron Empowered Minions. I, I want to push this tower down as soon as possible. I know I'm running on Boro time here. They're going to come and rotate around and try and stop me. But fortunately, I've got these Empowered Baron Creeps, so they're going to take a lot of damage from the tower before they go down. So I'm just going to sit here and, well, look at this big creep right here. Boom. Look at that fucking damage. It's, it's ridiculous on towers. At least Sin's going to come in here. Whatever. I've got my ult up. I can survive whatever he tries to do right here. And indeed, yep. Yeah. I pop up there, get Courage of the Colossus, and just... Caitlyn's going to end up taking out this tower here. Fortunately, well, my Zorot creep gets distracted. But, um... No, she doesn't. I actually run in and just smack it one more time and down it goes. But yeah, we're not getting that tower. Um... I just fast push it down with the Zerot minions, uh, with the, sorry, Empowered Baron minions and the Zerot portal, and end up getting that tower down. So very, very good. I took advantage of the fact that there was a fight going on in the mid lane, which I didn't expect my team to win, honestly, being a man down. But they got out quite well, and I got that tower, and because the entire enemy team is now down here, trying to stop me, we have Zinzao and Warwick pushing top. They take out the top inhibitor turret, and they're going to go for the top inhibitor right there. I double back a little bit to chuck a uh, Mega Adhesive just to cover Caitlyn's retreat. And then I'm going to recall here, pick out that Leonardo's Torment, while my team ends up getting that top lane inhibitor. So just bloody beautiful comebacks right there. Um, now, I'm looking very, very good. I have 161 AP. I've got 45 AP from that 10 stack Dark Seal and that Leonardo's Torment. I've got plenty of MR um, from the Merc Treads and the Zorot Portal. And I also have a generous helping of armor from that Zorot Portal as well. With health from both the Andrew's Torment and... I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> um, with generous helpings of health from both uh, Zoropol and the Edges Torment. So I'm in very, very good shape right here. And look at that fucking shield from uh, Courage of the Colossus. Yeah, it's nerfed, but if you get a fling off with a whole bunch of people around you like that, you'll still get quite a big shield. Unfortunately, I cannot save uh, Caitlyn there. She ever extends a little bit and gets caught. Which sort of sucks. Uh, it stifles our push for a little bit. But now I can push really, really fast because I have got uh, the Edges Torment, which shits on minions quite well as you can see but now baron buff is running out we've lost our carry so we can't really push anything so i'm just gonna head back here now here i sell my dark seal um i don't really know why i did that um what i i did what i should have done just there was um sold the corrupting potion kept the dark seal and um you know because that would have been 40 ap from the uh, Dark Seal, with 45 AP, and then I could have sold the Corrupting Potion to get 40 AP from the Blasting one as well. But instead I sold the, the Dark Seal, I don't know what was going through my head there, but... Oh well. What's done is done. Uh, don't do it. Do as I say, not as I do, basically. <laughs> but now I've got some extra damage, well not extra damage, I've got less damage now, but I would have had some extra damage. I'm just gonna keep pushing. Whatever, I'm, I'm, I'm peeing the mid lane uh, with assist. Just push the mid lane, guys, that's all they need to do. They push mid. I push bot lane with a rock portal. If they send one person to stop me, I don't care. I'll just ignore that person. I'll fling them away from the tower. I'll tank the tower for however long I need to while the rock minions take it down. They have to send two or more to stop me. If they send two or more to stop me, that's a tower dive in the mid lane from my team. Easy. Zinzao just jump on a carry. They're dead. Unfortunately, Zinzao is getting himself in a bit of trouble. 
Uh, but I, he is actually going to survive this, I believe. I believe he kills. He kills Misfortune. 1v4. And then he ends up dying. So, 1v4 and yet he still kills somebody uh, before dying. So, yeah. He's doing just amazingly. And now another fight's broken out, which means everybody bar Lee Sin, who's trying to clear out the super minions from top lane, is fighting. So, here I am. Just, yep. Don't mind me, guys. <laughs> I will just take this tower. And I'll take the inhibitor as well. Lux sends out her final spark over to try and uh, do some damage to the minions. I don't give a fuck. I've got plenty of damage from the Zerat minions to uh, be able to deal with that. I pop out here, expecting her to come in behind. Uh, she doesn't. She runs away. Uh, snares me. And I'm just... Uh, now I'm like, okay, I, I sort of overstayed my welcome here. Time to start running. Oh, no, never mind. Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> go for the Lux. I got the Landry's now. I got some damage. Let's go. Let's go. Once again, Lux, attack the Zerot portal. Attack the Zerot portal. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, Santa lands a nice uh, ult right there. Lux is going to end up dying to Sona's damage and my poison as well. And the Zerot means, of course, are just hitting that inhibitor quite easily. I'm going to try and pull for Sona back here. I'm just... I, I can't die here. I'm just a rock. My ult at this point has run out. And yet, I'm still tanking all this damage. I'm doing less damage, but I'm tanking all this damage still because my stats are pretty decent. That inhibitor goes down, and now we're going to start pushing in on the Nexus very, very soon, I believe. Yes, we're going to push in on the Nexus. So, yeah, a pretty great game. A really great comeback. Um, hope you learned something from that. That's the power of the Rock Portal in its power to stay on Singe. Like I said, Singe is not a split pusher, but it is how you can make him work in this meta. But yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed that one. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash uh, So Like and subscribe for more League of Legends content. I'll catch you on the next video, guys. Good luck in your games. Take care.